and also very exciting is our own Nelson Royalty, Adam Shake is here. Please put your hands together for Adam. <laughs> Wow, thank you. Have a seat there. Wow. Get to sit down with two superstars this week. It's yeah. amazing. You know, it's Adam, a... you really are. You know, to Nelson, you've uh, hit the world with wonderful, wonderful music. But you come home to us. You keep coming home. Well, this is home. This has yeah. become home now, the yeah. Kootenays. Yeah, Love it's it where here. you got your roots. Do you find inspiration from the Kootenays? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, the mountains. Even just driving from Slocan to Nelson, looking at the mountains along the way. And mm -hmm. I think that's, the, yeah, I, get I lots feel of like I hear it in Swimming your music. in the Slocan Lake, uh -huh. you know, the beach there. And I, and I think all, all the great little festivals that have started yeah. to come. I first got invited to come and play at Chambla. And from there, I met Miroslav. I played uh -huh. at Starbelly. I've played, you know, all over. There's Unity Festival now, you know, Tiny yeah. Lights. It's, so, it's so amazing to see that vibrancy of festivals in our, mm -hmm. in our community. And awesome. this level of talent to be able to tell at those festivals is pretty incredible we're getting for our tiny town. people from all around the world now coming mm -hmm. to our beautiful little mm -hmm. town and to, to represent it's amazing mm -hmm. and you're bringing in the sounds of all over the world well yes, yes. and musicians too i've been fortunate also to bring musicians from elsewhere uh most recently i guess is uve and gupreet with oh, my dream tree project which is the sitar tabla dance Beautiful. fusion thing we played a bunch of shows around the summer and played at Starbelly. Is this part of your awesome. tour that you've been this on for was, the last... Uh, yeah, this yeah. was part of uh, mm -hmm. all the shows that we played since May. You've been on the road. I mean, we've been chatting back and forth, but you are a, a busy man. You'd be like, oh, I'm home for 15 minutes, and now I'm off again. It pretty much seems like it has been just a, a, a tour after tour this you know, last year. And putting lots of different hats. Very grateful that, you know, ah. from DJing and playing mm -hmm. with different live bands right. to now most recently, you know, just coming off a tour supporting Buckman Co. Oh. I Hey, got to co-produce his name. record and ah. so it was also sort of lending my name to getting maybe better mm. billings we played everywhere from you know habitat Ooh. in Kelowna to uh, a yoga restaurant in Edmonton really? and oh, wow. it, yeah, had some intimate you know mm -hmm. reach out and touch the band kind of shows oh, special. really fun oh I bet super fun super you were fun. telling me about a big show you were playing out east Oh, I got to play again at the Royal Ontario Museum uh, mm. this just past May, and two years ago I, mm. I got to play there with one of my local musicians, Ben Johnson. Oh, is that right? Yeah, which oh, was really excellent. fun. And so this was for a huge crowd, and it yes. was part of their what celebration? Well, I think they do a, a, a series of music events on Friday nights, and they open up the thing, and this particular one was they were opening up a Mesopotamian art exhibit. Oh, beautiful. And so they brought me mm -hmm. to play a sort Quite of an honor. fusion of mm -hmm. Eastern, Mm -hmm. inspired musics and we had some local belly dancers and a VJ and uh, oh, wow. we were able to represent a small bit of what I get to do here with all the crew here right out there because I can't quite get the five plane tickets yet oh. we're working on that. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming I can feel it so what is your inspiration behind the music that you do make Every, it's different all the time, you know. Yeah. Certainly, I think one of my inspirations or motivations is the that drive to unlock people's dancing, to find oh, different yeah. blends of rhythms and styles and things to to present, to try and get people engaged in dancing. And, you know, people uh -huh. that might, I think my success is, you know, seeing the wallflower people and by the end of your set, they're all dancing because you found the right yeah. music <laughs> that they just... Without even knowing it, just sort of started tapping a foot and it just spread. And before they know it, they're just lost in the music, you know, along with the rest of us. I think that's my, that's what I strive that's for. That's a special skill. Well, that's what that is. Yeah, yeah, sometimes it works. It's a work in progress. I certainly feel like, you know, yeah. each dance floor is a Rubik's Cube and you, mm -hmm. your job is to try and figure it out with all that particular blend of people that are right. there that night. But still keeping sometimes your it, soul in it, right? Like yeah, keeping yeah, your, but yeah. That's, there's that, that's yeah. the thing. Like as a DJ, you know, you have this huge library of music that mm -hmm. you can pull from. And so right. theoretically, you can find maybe the right music to match those people in that moment. Uh -huh. 
but it's less you than when you're playing your own songs that mm -hmm. you've written, which is much more, you know, the deeper part of your soul. Mm -hmm. But if you're in that public scene where, you know, there's mm -hmm. 5,000 people that are all in different, you know, maybe your music isn't going to connect, you know, you might assess the moment. Sure. That, yeah, you're, yeah, this isn't the time for those 20 intimate songs you just wrote and you've got a <laughs> 1,000 people who want to dance. So it's trying to find that right balance and, you know, right. that's, I guess, the excitement and the dynamic. And, and what makes you such a great performer and mm. that's what being a perform a great performer is is being able to read your audience i think too right definitely yeah i think mm -hmm. read well i don't know the great performer part but i certainly <laughs> think that reading the audience so. being yeah. able to mm -hmm. gauge that is definitely a skill the yeah. the trick is in that mm -hmm. you got a new album <laughs> i have a new album base wallet called? came out base wallet in mm -hmm. may yeah and nice. and that was sort of invited by a U.S. Uh, Colorado-based record label, Desert Dwellers label, okay. sort of a yoga label to create a, an album for them. And oh, wonderful. Sort of worked on a, I had a bunch of music that was in the process, and he liked a few things from old catalog, and I thought rather than just uh, you know letting them release those again, mm -hmm. that I would try to reinterpret them, but in a different way than remixing, which okay. is often you know taking lots yes. of the song and trying to come up with something new. Mm -hmm. I wanted to try and take more of the like melodic, the idea, more like in a raga concept oh, okay. or in jazz and in improv where you have the theme and variations but now you're trying to make those variations and so I tried to approach it more like that. Oh lovely and you're, that... yeah how many songs how many tracks made it on that? Uh, I think there was 10 I beautiful. can't remember. Beautiful can't wait to hear it all of it. Yes, <laughs> We've well, been we're able to hear sharing your beautiful... you the links. I'm hoping so. And when when will be when can people buy it or where can they buy they it? They can find it at adamshake.com. Okay, I just good. updated my website oh, with this new thing. It's right there okay, on the main super. page, or you now. can go to um, Black Swan Sounds, which is the U.S. <sighs> label that released it. You can also find it there, or type awesome. my name in iTunes. It'll show up. Awesome. Yes. Thank you for telling oh. us that. Go out and get his music because it really is beautiful. I'm excited about this video uh, that you are letting us show tonight. Yes, very excited. And you said your brother was part yes, of that? Or, um, yeah. Just moved back to India from Vancouver and was re-engaging with a small group of filmmaker friends of his mm -hmm. in Delhi and Kolkata. Mm. And right around the time that I was putting this together and there was one of the songs I realized with this album that uh, slowly catching on that YouTube is a thing now. And oh, yeah, that's you got to make videos for your <laughs> album. Know. And so this album, I decided to try and make a lot more videos. And we okay. started earlier making some videos. And this was uh, the idea behind Bass Walla was basically in, in the sense of what a chai walla or, you know, different rickshaw walla, people in service to their craft, people that oh. do something on a daily basis every day, that's what they do. And I guess bass, uh, music walla didn't sound as cool as bass walla. And it was right. sort of that, you know, 30 year <laughs> journey that I've, of dedicating myself to music. And, you know, it's something that I do every day when I wake up, you know, at one point throughout the day, it's something I'm doing. And so I wanted to show that. And my brother took that further and just sort of created a video that sort of told the tale of what the Walla is of different people being in service and then also you know putting mine in there okay. and uh, it features a beautiful Bansri performance by this woman Catherine yes. Potter uh, oh. that I phrased uh, she's a master she's the principal student of Hari Prasad Chureja who is uh, mm -hmm. in my opinion probably one of the my favorite Indian Raga Bansri players and Beautiful. so, uh, yeah, I got to work with her and oh, that's, that's exciting. the result. Well, I think the people will be really excited to see it. So let's check it out. Awesome. We'll come back to Adam in just a minute. Please enjoy. Tell them what we're calling it. Baz, bass. Oh, this well, one is Sabadub. 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 Please enjoy it. <laughs> oh, thanks, my brother. Yeah. They made a lychee video. They you did guys a great are job. Forced to be reckoned with. So all that footage was taken in India. Yeah, they filmed been all it. around. Yeah, they wow. uh, actually, as it loops in. Um, these artists that I'm just being asked to produce in Vancouver now, really? they were in India and they hired him to go around and film ah. a bunch of stuff. They filmed already three or four music videos of, hmm. you know, footage worth. And so I think, he, you know, while he was filming for them, he was like, you know, taking <laughs> extra shots on the side. And <laughs> yeah. uh, certainly Got in that talent. part of the world.
world, everywhere you look is, you know, Visual. shots. So, oh, man. Yeah, there's definitely... Visually stunning piece. Yeah. yeah. It was beautiful. I like the text overlaying it. It's really a unique idea and makes it that much more interesting to and watch. Bringing that little bit of education yeah, in there or something. Really yeah, it really is. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I loved it. Um, so what else is coming up for Adam? Well, I, I just finished a, a, a new funk dub tune that's going to come out on uh, Liquid Strangers uh, oh, okay. label, Wakan, okay. I think coming up in the next little while. And, so uh, look for that on There'll be some Li links Liquid on Stranger my website okay, or, yeah, obviously website. on Liquid, on Martin's website, Liquid okay. Strangers website. Mm -hmm. um, and is this video also on there for people that want to... That's on my website. If they go good. to my website, okay. it's all... Yeah. It's all there, Excellent. contained in the thing. Sure. Absolutely. And anything else? You and want to share? Uh, well, I'm starting production on this new mantra this sort of stopped. dance <laughs> yeah. project. Yeah. And uh, and that's with some artists in Vancouver. That's with some is that artists right? in Vancouver. Yeah. 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 Talents, okay. They're kind of fusing Indian mantra, Sanskrit mantras, <laughs> and hip hop, and kind of telling a story in Western perspectives a little bit more about mm. uh, some of the Hindu and Eastern mythology. And this is a film project? No, this no. is, well, it, it's a multimedia project. Right. I think it, okay. they started with videos and it's music, but yeah. I think there's the show and there's lots of other lots stuff of layers that they're going to gonna that? be working so on. So that takes you away from here again soon, I no, imagine? Actually, no, actually, I think a lot of that I'm probably going to get to stay in the studio ah, and it's going to be just receiving files okay. through the, the magic of the internet in and our working wonderful in world. my home studio and nestling yeah. up all winter. And I got a Dream Tree EP to finish with material that wow. I recorded with the guys when they were at the house. And Buckman Co. and I have started also some more dancey dub, kind of like taking Buckman Co. sound and my sound ah. together, which I think is going to be like a Fat Freddy's drop, but kind of more just us and what we do, but soulful vocals, so but cool. more dancey dubby kind of stuff yeah well, so. we have lots to look forward to not from enough Adam hours Shea. in the day i know sometimes. i feel yeah <laughs> <laughs> totally feel yeah well thank you so much for being here pleasure. adam Total it was pleasure. such a wonderful uh to have you drop in on us tonight yeah, and share so that much. lovely music with us give your love to adam really yeah thank, thank you. you thank you adam thank, thank you for being here thank you. okay yeah. you can